And so we're going to see the uh, combining form psych used a lot. And of course, that means mind or soul. And you may see psycho psychologists, psychiatrists, psychotherapists, psychoanalysis, or psychoanalysts. All of those are going to use that as the root. And psychiatry, for example, is the medical specialty concerned with the origins, diagnosis, prevention, and treatment of mental, emotional, and behavioral disorders. And psychiatrists are medical doctors. They are an MD or a DO, and they have uh, chosen to specialize in that area. Um, psychologists um, are going to practice a lot of uh, psychoanalysis, psychotherapy, but of course they are not able to prescribe medicine the way a psychiatrist can. We also have other healthcare professionals associated with mental health, social workers, psychiatric nurses, psychiatric technicians. All of those are people who would be involved in the care and treatment of patients and their mental health issues. Uh, a mental disorder can be defined as any behavior or emotional state that causes a person to suffer emotional distress, uh, depression, or anxiety. Uh, is harmful to the individual sufferer, impairs the individual's ability to work, take care of personal needs, or get along with others, is self-destructive, such as substance abuse, gambling, and other addictions, self-injury, uh, endangers others or the community, antisocial behaviors, homicidal intent, pyromania. We often hear the term insanity. It's a legal term for a severe mental illness. Uh, and it's, again, uh, present at the time a crime was committed that impaired the defendant's capacity to understand the moral wrong of the act. Okay, it's not actually a medical diagnosis. It's strictly a legal term. Uh, mental disorders um, can be categorized. There's a uniform system for classifying and describing them uh, as part of the American Psychiatric Association. It's called the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, fourth edition now. Sure. Insanity. No. Uh uh. Yeah, it's a legal term. Now it does mean it from a legal standpoint, it is saying that they were impaired with some sort of a mental deficit, but in terms of insanity being an actual diagnosis by the American Psychiatric Association? No. Okay. All right. So some of the terms that we'll run into in this unit, uh, delusion and delusional. Delus is to deceive. And then our suffix ION is condition or process. And then delusional the suffix AL is pertaining to. Um, and just to speed things up, I'll try not to continually repeat the same prefixes and suffixes that we use. Hallucination, hallucin is imagination, ation is process, and perception of an object or event when there is no such thing present. Okay, Hami is a combining form and root that means man. Side is another suff uh, excuse me, a root or combining form that means to kill. Sid also means to kill. So homicide means to kill, killing one human by another human. A uh, homicidal was having a tendency to commit homicide. And here we get to insanity. And again, it's a non-medical term for a person unable to be responsible for actions. In means no or not, and san means sound or healthy. So, not in a healthy state of mind in this case. Psychiatry, psychiatric, psychiatrist all have the root psych. 
And then iatri means treatment, and iatrist is one who treats, a practitioner. So again, psychiatry would be the diagnosis and treatment of mental disorders. Psychiatric would be pertaining to psychiatry. And then psychiatrist is a licensed medical specialist in psychiatry. Now, psychology, psychological, psychologist, psychoanalyst, psychoanalysis, I'll get it right, psychoanalyst, psychotherapy, psychotherapist, all of those obviously have psycho as their combining form, and it means mind. And then logi means study of, logis specialist, analysis, and analyst, those are also roots as well. Analysis is process due to to define and analyst is one who defines okay so psychology is a scientific study of human mind and behavior psychological is pertaining to psycho uh, psychology a psychologist is a licensed specialist in psychology psychoanalysis is a method of psychotherapy psychoanalyst is a practitioner of psychoanalysis in psychotherapy, treatment of mental disorders through communication. Psychotherapist is a practitioner of psychotherapy. Pyromania. Pyro means fire. Mania meaning frenzy, a morbid impulse to set fires. Schizophrenia. Schizo means to split or cleave. Freno means mind. It's a disorder of perception, thought, emotion, and behavior. Tangentiality, tangenti is touch, um, tangent uh, would be a sudden change of course. You know, you might say somebody loses touch with what's going around them. If somebody goes off on a tangent, the original uh, road they were going down, they completely veer off from that. So they go off on a tangent. So tangentiality is a disturbance in thought process which move rapidly from one topic to another. Okay, and our first affective disorders okay, are not a clearly delineated group of disorders. Included are mood disorders of unipolar and bipolar depression, generalized anxiety disorder, and more specific anxiety disorders, phobias, obsessive compulsive disorder, and post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Uh, with major depression, you are so deeply sad for at least two weeks that you feel despairing and hopeless, see nothing but sorrow in the future, and may not want to live anymore. Okay, so that's major depression. There may be physical symptoms along with psychological symptoms. They include difficulty concentrating, difficulty falling asleep, feeling tired all the time, losing weight, violent behavior or substance abuse occurs more often in depressed men than women, though depression is more common in women. Okay. When the depression is unipolar, just depression and not periods of being manic, uh, it uh, typically is treated with medication, tricyclic antidepressants. But since the 90s, it says, uh, SSRI, serotonin reuptake inhibitors that we talked about before that allow serotonin, a neurotransmitter in the brain, to remain in the synapse for a longer period of time so those neurons have a greater opportunity to pick up that neurotransmitter and use that serotonin to elevate one's mood. So again, working with the body's chemistry. In some cases, electroconvulsive therapy, uh, seizures that are electronically induced in anesthetized in patients to treat severe depression that's not responded to other treatment. Okay. So here are some of the drugs which are used to treat depression. Uh, tricyclic antidepressants, including amitriptyline, nortriptyline, protriptyline, uh, clomipramine, imipramine, trimipramine, um, tri 
There are SSRIs, fluoxetine, which is Prozac, fluoxamine, which is Lovox, paroxaline, which is Paxil, citalopram, Celexa, sertraline, which is Zoloft, and serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs, venlafaxine, which is Effexor, milnasopran, which is dalsopran, and duloxetine, which is Cymbalta. Okay, you see quite a few commercials uh, for Cymbalta here recently. Um, again, it, it's helping to have two neurotransmitters linger longer in the synapse. And so that's how it elevates mood in the brain. Uh, some people rebound to the opposite extreme of depression called mania, an excessive state of overexcitement and impulsive behavior. Okay, this is called bipolar disorder, and of course it used to be referred to as manic depressive disorder. In the manic phase, the, the uh, person is hyperactive and distractible and may not sleep for days, yet shows no fatigue. Uh, thinking and speech are rapid and disjointed and can't be interpreted. Uh, seasonal aff uh, affective disorder, sad, of course, uh, with the time change and uh, with the seasons changing, people are exposed to less sunlight, and so they may suffer from a seasonal affective disorder, a mood disorder associated with episodes of depression during the fall and winter months, subsiding during spring and summer. Uh, it's due to a lack of sunshine, uh, no longer stimulating uh, the pineal gland. Uh, uh, so ultimately, uh, light boxes in the windows, phototherapy, uh, can be a way that somebody with seasonal affective disorder gets treated. Uh, some common uh, abbreviations, ECT for electroconvulsive therapy, OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, SAD, uh, seasonal affective disorder, SNRI, serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SSRI, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, and then tricyclic antidepressants, TCAs. Okay, here are our terms associated with affective disorders. Uh, pole, of course, is the combining form that means pole. Uh, North Pole and South Pole, for example, op opposites. Um, bi meaning two, so bipole meaning two poles, uh, uh, euphoric stage and a depressed stage. A mood disorder with alternating periods of depression and mania, the two poles of the disorder, and that would be bipolar disorder. Depression, press means to press down, a mental disorder with feelings of deep sadness and despair. Electroconvulsive therapy. Okay. Electro means electricity, vols means to tear or pull, passage of electric uh, current through the brain to produce convulsions and treat persistent depression, mania, and other disorders. Dysphoria, D-Y-S, is a prefix uh, that means bad or difficult. Four means to carry or bear, a condition of severe depression, agitation, and paranoid delusions. Mania, manic, and then manic depressive disorder. Uh, mania is from the Greek term frenzy, a mood disorder with hyperactivity and irritability and rapid speech. Uh, man is a root that means affected by frenzy. Depress is to press down. Phobia, from the Greek for fear, it's a pathologic fear or dread. Unipolar disorder means only one pole, in this case it would be depression. Okay, then we get into anxiety disorders. Okay, they're uh, characterized by unreasonable anxiety or fear that is inappropriate to the circumstances, yet so intense that it disrupts a person's life. Generalized anxiety disorder consists of persistent excessive worrying and uncontrollable anxiety that's not focused on one particular situation and has lasted at least six months. They develop, the fear, uh, they develop fear reactions, including palpitations, insomnia, difficulty concentrating, and irritability. 
Post-traumatic stress disorder occurs when a person who has gone through a significant trauma shows stress symptoms that last for longer than a month and impair the person's ability to function. Uh, Okay, we've got treatment for PTSD, multimodal uh, treatment plan involving psychopharmacotherapy, medications in other words, psychotherapy, social interventions, and patient and family education. Okay, forms of psychotherapy or cognitive behavioral therapy in which the traumatic experiences are relived and worked through, and cognitive processing therapy in which the thoughts and beliefs generated by the trauma are explored and reframed. Eye movement desensitization and reprocessing is also used. Social interventions to restore a sense of safety and security. Key abbreviations, CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. CPT, Cognitive Processing Therapy. EMDR, Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing. GAD, Generalized Anxiety Disorder. And then PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Okay, so some of our key terms. Anxiety, from the Greek word distress or anxiety, distress caused by fear. Cognitive, uh, from the Latin term knowledge, pertaining to the mental activities of thinking and learning. Okay. Cognitive behavioral therapy. Cognit means thinking. And behave means mental activity. And then therapy is medical treatment. So cognitive behavioral therapy means psychotherapy that emphasizes thoughts and attitudes in one's behavior. Cognitive processing therapy. Okay, psychotherapy to build skills to deal with the effects of the trauma in other areas of life. Again, cognitive meaning thinking. Cess in this case going forward. Insomnia, somno means sleep, so insomnia, I-N again in front of a term means no or not, so insomnia, no sleep. Multimodal, using many methods, modo means method, multi of course meaning many. Post-traumatic, traumat means wound, so post would be after a wound or after a trauma. Psychopharmacotherapy, psycho again we've said means mind. Pharmaco means drugs, so drug treatment of mental disorders. Psychosomatic and somatoform disorders, where we actually start seeing physical manifestations of psychological issues. Psycho uh, excuse me, psychosomatic disorder is a real physical disorder, at least in part, that has a psychological cause. Tension headaches have a real pain caused by muscle spasm, but stress and anxiety play a role in causing the symptoms. Biofeedback and relaxation techniques may be helpful in reducing tension and spasm. Somatoform disorders occur when there is no identifiable physical cause to explain physical symptoms. Uh, symptoms are real to the patient and are not under voluntary control. In conversion disorder, symptoms progress to involve loss of feeling, paralysis, deafness, or blindness. And so some of the terms associated with somatoform disorders and psychosomatic disorders include acrophobia, acro meaning peak or highest point, pathologic fear of heights, Agoraphobia, okay, agora means marketplace, so fear of being out in public. Biofeedback, bio meaning life, feed to give nourishment, and back means to return. Training techniques to achieve voluntary control of responses to stimuli. Claustrophobia, pathologic fear of being trapped in a confined space. Claustro means confined space. Compulsion and compulsive. Compulse means to drive or compel. Uncontrollable impulses to perform an act repetitively. Compulsive, possessing uncontrollable impulses to perform an act repetitively. 
Conversion disorder, Latin in, uh, means to turn around or change, conversion. Uh, an unconscious emotional conflict is expressed as physical symptoms with no organic basis. Hypochondriac and hypochondriasis. Uh, a person who exaggerates the significance of symptoms, that's a hypochondriac. And hypochondriasis, belief that a minor symptom indicates a severe disease. Chondro means cartilage or rib, but it gets twisted into a meaning in this particular case that uh, symptoms that you are perceiving uh, may be due to some television show you've watched or something you've read on the internet now leads you to have additional signs and symptoms associated with the disease. Obsessive or, excuse me, obsession or obsessive. Um, obsess is besieged by thoughts, persistent, recurrent, uncontrollable thoughts or impulses. Phobia, Greek for fear, pathologic fear or dread. Psychosomatic, psycho as we've said means mind, soma means body, pertaining to, to disorders of the body, usually resulting from disturbances of the mind. Somatoform, somato again means body, soma and somato both mean body, and form means appearance of, physical symptoms occurring without identifiable physical cause. Schizophrenia is a form of psychosis in which there is a loss of contact with reality. Okay, it, they don't have split personalities, but their words are separated from the meeting. Their perceptions are separated from reality, and their behaviors are separated from thought processes. Remember, schizo means to cleave, and so to cleave, to pull apart. So their perceptions and their thoughts are pulled apart from what's truly going on around them. People with schizophrenia have their sensory perceptions jumbled and distorted, have difficulty concentrating and perceive things without a stimulation. They have hallucinations. Hallucinations can occur in any of the senses, but are most often auditory. These people also suffer from delusions, mistaken beliefs that, they, that are contract, uh, contrary to facts. The delusions can be paranoid with pervasive distrust and suspicion of others. People with schizophrenia can withdraw from society, become homeless, and refuse to communicate. Oftentimes, a schizophrenic person has speech that's disorganized and can be incoherent. Their behaviors are often totally inappropriate, and their blunted emotions and withdrawal can progress to catatonia which means motor inability that can last for hours. Mutism is the inability to speak or refusal to speak. That also may be uh, something associated with their schizophrenia. Uh, MRI and PET scans show brain abnormalities and changes in function in patients with schizophrenia. Uh, schizophrenia typically comes on in the late teens and 20s. Okay, it can be effectively treated with medications and programs of psychological rehabilitation, antipsychotic medications, olanzapine, quetiapine, and risperidone are used either singly or in combination if necessary, and mood stabilizers such as lithium may also be used. Okay, our key terms, affect. Latin for state of mind, external display of feelings, thoughts, and emotions. Catatonia and catatonic. Cata means down, ton means pressure or tension. Uh, congruent. Gru is to move. The suffix ent is end result. Con is with, so coinciding with or agreeing with. Mute and mutism. Mute means silence. Okay, Latin for silence. Ism is a process, so it's unable or unwilling to speak. And mutism was absence of speech. Paranoia, paranoid. 
Noia means to think. So para means abnormal or beside, and noid means abnormal thinking. So in this case, it's a mental uh, disorder with persecutory delusions. And uh, paranoid would be having delusions of persecution. Psychosis, the adjective form psychotic and antipsychotic. Well, psychosis is a disorder causing mental disruption and loss of contact with reality. Psych means mind. Again, osis is condition of, so a condition of the mind. Psychotic, again, TIC is pertaining to, pertaining to or affected by psychosis. And then antipsychotic, anti again is against, an agent helpful in the treatment of psychosis. Schizophrenia, schizo is to split or cleave. Friend is mind, so it's a disorder of perception, thought, emotion, and behavior. Schizophrenic is relating to or suffering from schizophrenia. Suicide or suicidal. Su-e means self. Side, as we talked about before, means kill. So suicide, uh, suicide would mean the act of killing oneself. Suicidal would mean wanting to kill oneself. Uh, personality disorders and borderline personality disorder. Personality is defined as an individual's unique and stable pattern of thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. So borderline personality disorder is a frequent diagnosis in people who are impulsive, unstable, and mood and, mood and manipulative. Uh, they can be promiscuous and self-destructive, committing self-mutilation. Uh, they may also commit suicide. People with narcissistic personality disorder have an exaggerated sense of self-importance and seek constant attention. Antisocial personality disorder used interchangeably with the term sociopath and psychopath describes people who lie, cheat, steal, and make trouble for others and have no sense of responsibility and no anxiety or guilt about their behavior. Psychopaths have these characteristics but tend to be more violent and anger more easily than sociopaths. Schizoid and paranoid personality disorders describe people who are absorbed with themselves and trusting and fearful of closeness with others. Dissociative disorders involve a dissociation of past experiences from present memory or consciousness. Being unable to recall identity is called dissociative amnesia. Somebody has something traumatic happen and all of a sudden they can block it out and never remember it again. Uh, the development of distinctly separate personalities called dissociative identity disorder. Okay, It was formerly called multiple personality disorder. But the basic origin of all these disorders is the need to escape, usually from extreme trauma and most often from sexual, emotional, or physical abuse in childhood. Impulse control disorders, intermittent explosive disorders characterized by recurrent episodes of unstrained aggression toward people, furniture, or property with violent resistance to attempts to restrain. Okay, it's thought to be epileptic-like in the activity in the brain. Uh, Propranolol, lithium, valproate, and phenytoin are medications used to treat it. Kleptomania, characterized by stealing, not for gain, but to satisfy an irresistible urge to steal. Uh, behavioral therapy can help in SSRIs. Tritychotillomania, characterized by the repeated urge to pull out of the scalp, the beard, the pubic, and other body hair. Trico is a combining form that means hair. Substance abuse and chemical dependence, which involves a person's continued use of drugs or alcohol despite having had significant problems or distress related to their use. This addiction affects the brain and behavior and develops an increased need for the substance and an inability to stop using it. Pyromania okay, is repeated setting fire with no motive other than the fascination with the fire and fire engines.
Uh, some pyromaniacs end up as volunteer firefighters. Treatment with behavioral therapy is sometimes successful. Uh, key abbreviations, borderline personality disorder, BPD, DID, dissociative identity disorder, MPD, okay, multiple personality disorder, and then uh, trichotillomania, TTM. Our key terms associated uh, with this section include addict and addiction. Dict is to surrender. So an addict is a person with psychologic or physical dependence on a substance or practice. Habitual psychological and physiological dependence on a substance or practice is addiction. Amnesia, Greek for forgetfulness. Total or partial inability to remember past experiences. Antisocial personality disorder. Soci means partner, ally, or community. Person means person, of course. Disorder of people who lie, cheat, steal, and have no guilt about their behavior. Dissociative identity disorder, DID. Sociogen means partner or ally. Mental disorder in which part of an individual's personality is separated from the rest, leading to multiple personalities. Kleptomania, klepto means to steal, and of course we said before, mania means frenzy, uncontrollable need to steal. Narcissism and narcissistic, uh, from the Greek mythical character Narcissos, who was in love with his own reflection in water. Narciss means self-love, so narcissism is self-love, the person interprets everything purely in relation to himself or herself. Narcissistic is relating to Everything to oneself pertaining to or suffering from narcissism. Pathologic gambling. Patho means disease. Log means the study of. So morbid, constant, uncontrollable, destructive gambling. Psychopath. Psycho again means mind. Path means disease. Person with antisocial personality disorder who are prone to anger and violence. Pyromania, we already talked about that, that fascination with fire, pyro meaning fire. Schizoid, schiz means to split, and oid means resemble, withdrawn, socially isolated. Self-mutilation, mutilo is to maim, self, of course, meaning own individual. Injury or disfigurement made to one's own body. Sociopath, we've said before, socio means partner or ally, person with antisocial personality disorder. Okay. These are psychoactive drugs. So in this table we have stimulants which speed up activity in the central nervous system and caffeine, nicotine, amphetamines, cocaine, all of those are stimulants. Uh, common effects, increased wakefulness, shorter reaction time, alertness. Um, nicotine actually can cause alertness, but it can also cause calmness depending on how the person inhales their cigarette. If they take long, slow drags, it enhances calmness. If they take shorter, uh, more frequent drags off the cigarette, the nicotine affects the brain differently. Um, appetite for carbohydrates decreases. Amphetamines increases wakefulness, alertness, increased metabolism, and decreased appetite. Cocaine causes euphoria, high energy, and illusions of power. Uh, the effects of abuse for all these, though, for stimulants like caffeine, restlessness, insomnia, irregular heartbeat, uh, nicotine can lead to heart disease, high blood pressure, vasoconstriction, bronchitis, emphysema, lung, throat, mouth cancer. Amphetamine side effects of, of long-term abuse can include nervousness, high blood pressure, delusions, psychosis, convulsions, and death. Uh, cocaine can lead to excitability, paranoia, anxiety, panic, depression, and heart failure, and even death. 
Depressants are downers. They slow down activity in the central nervous system. They include alcohol, barbiturates, and tranquilizers. One to two drinks lead to reduced inhibitions and anxiety. More than that, though, can lead to blackouts, mental and neurological impairment, psychosis, cirrhosis of the liver, and death. Many drinks, uh, in the immediate sense, slow your reaction time, lead to poor coordination and memory. And the long-term effects of severe drinking can lead to impaired motor and sensory function, amnesia, loss of consciousness, and death. Barbiturates, in the short term, reduce anxiety and tension. Okay, they can act as sed uh, for sedation. Um, again, barbiturates and tranquilizers, I should say. Uh, narcotics. Uh, narcotics mimic the actions of natural endorphins. Codeine, opium, morphine, heroin, those are all narcotics. Uh, in the short term, they can create euphoria, pleasure, and relief of pain. But in uh, long term, can lead to high tolerance of pain, uh, chronic nausea, vomiting, constipation, convulsions, can lead to coma and death. Uh, psychedelics like marijuana, in the short term, relaxation, euphoria, increased appetite, and pain relief. Long term, can lead to sensory distortion, hallucinations, paranoia, throat and lung damage. Uh, LSD, mescaline, and MDMA, those are all uh, psychedelics as well. Uh, in the short term, LSD, mescaline, and MDMA can lead to exhilaration, euphoria, hallucinations, and insightful experiences. But long-term and chronic use can lead to panic, extreme delusions, bad trips, and paranoid psychosis. Paranoia and psychosis. Okay, so some of our key terms associated with uh, this section. Uh, co, morbidity. Morbid means disease, so presence of two or more diseases at the same time. Craving from the Latin term desire, deep longing or desire. Dependence from the Latin term to hang from, state of needing someone or something. Depressant is to press down. The suffix ant means agent, so a substance or agent that diminishes activity, sensation, or tone. Endorphin, the root orphan means morphine, end is within, so natural substance in the brain that has the same effect as opium. Euphoria, the combining form, or excuse me, the root for means to bear or carry, you means normal. Exaggerated condition of well being. Narcotic, narco means sleep or stupor. So a drug derived from opium or a synthetic drug with similar effects. Psychedelic. Psych again means mind or soul. Del means manifest or visible. Agent that intensifies sensory perception. Psychoactive. Psycho meaning mind or soul. Act means performance. Able to alter mood, behavior, and or cognition. Stimulant. Stimule means to excite. An agent that excites or strengthens functional activity. Tolerance. Toler means to endure. Ants means condition or state of. The capacity to become accustomed to a stimulus or drug. All right. And that's it for the chapter on mental health. Does anybody have any questions on this material? Can you run that by me again? I didn't pick up on it very clearly. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. 
Well, a, a comorbidity, of course, doesn't necessarily happen just with uh, mental disorders, but nevertheless, oftentimes these mental disorders are going to be paired. So you would often find somebody with anxiety and depression. And so they are both equally active within that person. And ultimately, they both manifest and have um, uh, they both have detrimental effects on the person from a psychological and physiological standpoint. So if somebody does have comorbidities, then they do have more than one active di disease process. And so from a billing and coding standpoint, they would both have to be uh, coded as such as both being primary diagnoses. So did that help make any sense? Well, let's say that um, you know somebody has um, diabetes and heart disease. Well, those are both diseases that, for lack of a better way to put it, exacerbate either condition. Um, diabetes typically leads to brittle arteries. Um, you know, diabetes, hardening of the arteries. Um, and uh, heart disease typically has uh, a manifestation of atherosclerotic plaque in the arteries. So when you have a situation where the patient has diabetes and coronary artery disease, heart disease, then again, both of those are comorbidities. They exacerbate the total effect on uh, you know the cardiovascular system and the endocrine system in this case so they both would have to be coded as a primary diagnosis and like some of these other mental disorders would be the same thing okay somebody could have um, uh, anxiety and depression um, you know so they would have to uh, be thought of as comorbidities and equal diagnosis that would have to be coded as such.
Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. All that? No, that I tell you what, Atlanta rolled out the red carpet for Ahima. I mean, that that really was something. I I just couldn't believe the whole city just, you know, threw on the nines for Ahima. Yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah. 